Thank you for your patience. You look beautiful. It's nice to be out here tonight. So good to see you. So I know that everyone is anxious for this race to be called. Believe me, I am too. But the reality is the race is just too close to call tonight. I am optimistic about the numbers, but it is, it's still too early, folks. We in you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's actually not surprising that we have to be a little bit more patient. Uh, Oregon has the best voter access laws in the country. <laughs> and as you know, the legislature passed two new changes that make it even easier to vote. And while that is good for democracy, it also means we need to be patient and it will just take longer for all the votes to be counted. But I know that you are all patient people because you believe in democracy and we'll just need to wait. So let's give a shout out to all the election workers who will be working overtime to count every vote. This campaign for governor has been absolutely an amazing experience. Thank you. There have been 4,000 volunteers on this campaign for governor. There have been more than 24,000 contributors to this campaign. This is the grassroots campaign for governor in the state of Oregon. We have had an amazing coalition of labor, choice, environmental activists, communities of color, frankly, anyone who cares about the future of this state. And we have had also an incredible student. <laughs> Absolutely. We have had an incredible, also student-led effort for this campaign. We've had <laughs> students for Tina on university campuses. Teens for Tina reaching out to younger voters. Younger Oregonians know what is at stake in this governor's race. It's about choice. It's about the climate. It's about gun violence prevention. Our young Oregonians are going to lead us forward in this campaign, and they have. Thank you for being here. I've met a lot of young Oregonians on this race. I'm going to di divert a second for my script. Um, it's so inspiring when someone who's eight or nine or 10 comes up to you and says, I believe in you. I believe in our future. We need you to be elected. Young people are going to save us. We have a future because of them. I want to thank everyone who has volunteered this year volunteered their time to help Democrats up and down the ticket. Thank you so much. You showed up. You didn't take anything for granted. You knocked on doors. You made phone calls. You pitched in a few dollars if you could. That is why we are seeing success here in Oregon tonight for Democrats. Thank you. And since I have a moment here, I also want to thank the incredible staff of Team Tina. Can we get a round of applause for folks on my campaign? I have never worked with a more talented, hardworking, dedicated group of individuals who were committed to making sure we could run the race we needed to run. And I want to special, especially thank our campaign manager, Megan Cavanaugh. Thank you, Megan. Because 
we as Democrats know that politics is a team sport. It takes everyone. It takes a great staff. It takes thousands of volunteers. It also takes our family standing with us. And I want to thank my wife. Amy Kotek Wilson, who is here tonight. Amy um, is incredible. Any of you who have met her know that is she is strategic and smart and incredibly funny and also knows what matters to Oregonians because she has been on the ground as a social worker helping people. And it's that knowledge that she and I share of what it means to help real people every day that's going to help us lead this state to make sure people have what they need so we can all move forward together. And I just want to th say to my wife, I love you, thank you for everything. Thank you all. So I know it's late um, for now. We need to respect the process. We need to wait. Every vote counts. Every vote must be counted. And so it looks like we, we might be waiting a while before things are official. And, and that's, frankly, that's OK. Because we want to make sure that every Oregonian who turned in their ballot gets heard. So we'll be back. Maybe tomorrow, but for tonight, we love you. Thank you for everything you do for democracy, and we'll be back. Have a nice night. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, she does what she says she's going to do. Let me introduce my friend, the next governor of the great state of Oregon, Christine Drazen. Good evening. Okay, have you guys been having a fantastic time tonight? Let's go! Let's go! All right, you guys, I promised I would give you guys an update, and I'm gonna do that. So, good evening, fellow Oregonians. We are here. We are at the finish line. We knew this was going to be a close race, and it turns out it is. But we know that when the results are all counted, and all of the results are in, that we will, in fact, lead Oregon in a new direction. But we're not there yet. And before I go any further, this is one of my few opportunities to just take a moment, if you'll bear with me. Uh, I would really like to thank a few people. I'd like to start off with my family. Uh, my extended family is here tonight, 
And I just want to say thank you for your love and your support. My aunts and uncles, my cousins and my nephews, my dad and my brothers, but I especially want to say how thankful I am to my own family, um, my husband and my three kids, Dan, Isaac, Christian, and Ava, who are here tonight. I want to thank them because this decision to run affected their lives too. And it is a gift to be a mom to three wonderful, amazing human beings. And to be married to a guy who is up for adventure, even when that adventure is running for governor. I know this was a lot. We knew that it would be, and it was. But still, I just want to say each of you were willing every single day, even when it meant standing up and sometimes standing out. Even when the pressure was intense and the ugly was about as ugly as ugly gets. Even when I was gone, when I wanted to be with you, you knew there is no progress without sacrifice. There is no change without challenge. There is no achievement without a determination that refuses to bow to the skeptics or bend to the cynics. You all made that sacrifice willingly. I am grateful, I am thankful, and I love you. I am also grateful to the Oregonians themselves who are here tonight and across this state who, got, who were all in for this race. I had the privilege and the joy of crossing into every corner of this state, listening to you, debating the issues, raising support, and building the kind of team that could fight for our future and win. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for standing up in this race. Thank you for being a part of turning our state around. And finally, I want to thank my team, Rebecca, Seriously, if you guys haven't met her, she makes the world spin. And I want to, and I want to thank Shelly. Everybody needs a ride or die, and she is mine. I also want to thank Preston, Trey, Scarp, Stephanie, Alexis, John, Blair, Dylan, Sam, Gabrielle, Tanner, Kiefer, Mark, Marie, Ryan, as well as Jeremy, Ariel, Kevin, and Jeff. Thank you. There were twists and there were turns in this race, but you never stop fighting, you never stop working, you never stop believing, and you help make this happen. And let me tell you, now you are a part of history. So we're here tonight, Oregonians have spoken, and we are waiting. We're waiting for the votes to be counted, but we are confident that they will demand change, that they will vote for balance, and they will create the accountability that we haven't seen in our state for far too long. We all know the challenges that we are facing as a state, and we know that this is our time to solve them. We must work together to clean up our streets, to ensure homelessness is rare and temporary and not permanent and chronic. We must work together to support our kids, to provide them with the help and the support that they need to achieve their best possible future. We must work together to support and restore community safety and support for law enforcement across our state. Our shared mission, yes, please, thank you for our law enforcement support in this, in this place, thank you. Our shared mission is an organ where we can acknowledge our differences, however stark they may seem, and still make progress toward a new day. To lead our state in a new direction and support all Oregonians, as I have committed to do, I recognize our differences must be respected and not silenced. Amen. We can unify our state. We can heal the divide. We can work together. We can stand shoulder to shoulder and share in the opportunities and the burdens in the work that lies ahead. We can, 
because we must and we will, not because we're Republicans and Democrats and independents, but because we are Oregonians. Thank you for being here tonight. May God bless you and may God bless Oregon.